In 1989, the Galileo space probe was launched into space within the space shuttle Atlantis. The probe was one of the most intricate machines ever put into space. It was designed to reach Jupiter, orbit the gas giant, and even deploy a special probe into the atmosphere to gather scientific data on the planet's makeup. The probe used a series of gravitational assists to fly deep into the solar system and after six years of flying through the void, Galileo reached Jupiter. NASA had big plans for the probe, which was going to make multiple orbits of Jupiter and a number of close flybys with Jupiter's main moons, Ganymede, Io, Europa, and Callisto. Scientists, engineers, and amateur astronomers were all waiting with bated breath for the results which were guaranteed to increase our knowledge of our solar system's largest planet. So why did NASA intentionally decide to destroy their expensive and high-tech probe? And what did aliens have to do with it? After years of planning, years of flying through the solar system, and an important mission, why would NASA decide to wreck its most impressive project at the time? For all of the years it took to get Galileo from a lab on Earth to Jupiter's orbit, the mission was only scheduled to last two years. The first orbit of Jupiter lasted seven months, but subsequent orbits were shorter and shorter. This is because the environment around Jupiter is highly caustic. There are high amounts of radiation and crushing gravity. The probe was not designed to orbit Jupiter indefinitely, in fact, after just a few years in space, Galileo was already running out of the critical fuel it needed to navigate. Galileo would go on to make 11 orbits of Jupiter, four flybys with Ganymede, three with the icy moon of Europa, three with Callisto, and one with Io. At one point, the probe used Io as another gravitational slingshot to help position itself. However, Io's intense magnetic field and high radiation levels raised concerns among NASA engineers. Consequently, they decided to avoid Io for the time being, since that radiation and magnetic activity could potentially damage the probe's sensitive internal instruments. The three encounters with Europa ignited the imagination. Europa is icy and it has long been theorized that it could contain liquid water that is hiding beneath the crust. These hidden oceans could be warm enough and old enough to support life. Life on Europa likely would be microscopic or bacterial in nature, and it has never been confirmed, but it was this hypothetical life that gave NASA pause when Galileo reached the end of its lifespan. Galileo's primary mission ended in 1997, but it continued to orbit the planet. NASA allowed scientists to access Galileo's instruments even after the mission was complete, and it dutifully transmitted its findings back to Earth for the next five years. But Galileo had a hard shelf life that was fast approaching, and questions were being raised about what to do with the probe. In most cases, it wouldn't be an issue to leave a defunct probe orbiting in deep space. We still have probes sailing away from the solar system that will, theoretically, travel indefinitely into the void. But Jupiter is a unique case. NASA couldn't risk leaving Galileo in orbit around Jupiter indefinitely. But on September 21, 2003, when Galileo was nearly out of fuel, NASA decided to put it into a terminal orbit that would send the probe crashing into Jupiter's thick atmosphere. Once within the clouds, it would only be a matter of hours before the probe was completely crushed and annihilated. The fear was that if the probe crashed into Europa and infected it with microbes from Earth, there would be no way to tell if any life on Europa was truly alien or if it had been brought there by humans in the past. Ensuring that Galileo was vaporized guaranteed that there would be no contamination of Europa. While it is highly unlikely that any microbes survived on the surface of the Galileo probe after years in space, NASA could not take the chance that something could have survived somewhere on the probe. 
Who wants to be responsible for potentially ruining the only alien life in the solar system by leaving a junked probe in an uncontrolled orbit of Jupiter? So Galileo plunged into the cloud tops and disappeared forever. After reaching space in 1989, Galileo traveled hundreds of millions of miles, spent years in deep space, and concluded one of NASA's most ambitious and successful missions. Galileo lived for 14 years in space before sacrificing itself for the good of Europa. The icy moon of Europa remains untouched by humans, and many still believe that microbes could live in the water beneath the crust. If there is life there, we haven't seen it yet. And thanks to NASA's forward thinking, they prevented Europa from being contaminated by wayward space junk. Thank you for watching until the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Your support is very important for us to keep uploading videos like this one. And if you're as fascinated by the universe as I am, I invite you to visit our website, where you'll find some of the most stunning space photographs. They're available as fine art prints, framed or unframed, designed to enhance every color and detail. And best of all, international shipping is completely free. I'll leave the link in the description. See you in the next video.